Hey, lovelies. Welcome to Live Miss. I'm so excited to hang out with you tonight. Thank you so much if you are stopping in to hang out. I cannot believe that we are back here. It's December and it is time for a live every week in the month of December again. So I just want to pop into the chat to see who we've got. Well, Linda, you made it. I'm so glad to see you here. I have to say, I almost I almost did that smoky eye that you were asking for, the blue one today. And I was like, oh, maybe not today, <laughs> but soon I'm going to do it. Hey, Amanda, nice to see you. Uh, of course, we have, by the way, the, the not so secret... Uh, <laughs> The not so secret person that's in the chat right now of you guys see John chatting. That is my fiance, Jeremy, under his little pseudonym. Uh, thank you to everybody for coming in. I know Kara was in here a little bit early. And uh, I am glad to see all of you here tonight. Thank you so much for joining in. If we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Like more live misses, we're gonna have giveaways in every single one. You know that I love like giving is my love language. And so I get so excited for this time of year to be able to do that. And tonight, this is going to be my 3K giveaway. So it's definitely a bit bigger than the other ones that I'll be doing. Uh, if you missed on my last few giveaways that I have had, I sort of talked about how I really want to have more more manageable giveaways where it's something I would rather give to more people and have it be a little bit less overwhelming so that everyone has bits and baubles that they can enjoy rather than like one ginormous 50 pound box of makeup going to one person. I just think that, you know, it's it's just a way to be able to enjoy those things more. So that's kind of where I'm rolling into with my channel here. And I am also going to be sharing with you all of my beauty favorites for the month, the things that I've been reaching for so much, you know, those things that I just know are always going to give me a great makeup day and the ones that I've really been enjoying. Some are new, some are very old, and I can't wait to talk to you about them. Well, hey, Sunsore, thank you for coming in tonight. It's great to see you. Yeah, Linda, I, I really did. I mean, I sat here this morning and I was like, I'm going to do the blue. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to have to dig for a little while for that one. And I just, I just didn't quite have time, but it's coming soon. Uh, if any of you didn't see, I've been doing some little looks on Instagram and I had asked if anybody wanted to see, you know, a color combo. I've really been enjoying doing like two shadow looks. In fact, that's actually what I have on my eyes tonight. I'll be talking a little bit about one of the things that I have on right now, just like whether it's two creams or cream and a powder, just quick and easy. Like it just makes it so easy. And I know that it's going to last all day. So it's just been really nice. And that's been something that I've been really vibing with lately. So I shared a little combo uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. So I'm definitely going to do some more of those. I think that this time of year, we're all so busy. And so it's nice to just have those things that we know that we can like pop on quick and get out the door. And this makeup, by the way, has been on, let's see, what time is it now? So where I am at 7.30 at night, and I think I started putting on this makeup at 7.30 this morning. I did obviously touch up my lip because hello, it's a lip, uh, but I feel like it lasted pretty darn well. Hey, Liz, thank you so much. Uh, the hair, it's freshly washed for all of you. <laughs> it happens once a week, and I timed it out so that I'd be able to get it uh get it all nice and fresh. Although I will say, I don't know about any of you, like when I have sweaters or if I have a jacket with a hood, let me tell you, like this whole section in the back was like one matted piece by the end of the day. I'm like, here I am a hairdresser, like making my clients look good with like mats <laughs> in my hair. It was crazy. It's just been crazy with like the rubbing of all the like, you know, turtleneck scarves, all that stuff. It's winter. I'll tell you what, if they're... <sighs> It's winter and now I just get to have matted hair too on top of snow and cold and everything. Like I'm ready to get out of here. Hey, Aileen. Nice to see you. Everybody wish my gorgeous friend Aileen a belated happy birthday. She just had her birthday and I was excited that uh, you were able to, to get a day off. Uh, hey, Melissa. So everyone, how is everyone's December going so far? I feel like it's already been a whirlwind. We are a week into this month and I'm just like, what? <laughs> like I still, so at work when I've been like scheduling my guest appointments and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, so we have your December appointment set up. And I was like, uh, nope, that's today. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, it is December, Kelly. You just need to accept this fact. So 
I am really excited. What we're going to do first is I'm going to share with you a few of my monthly favorites. Uh, I will be doing my giveaway details at the end of tonight. And all of you who are in the live, um, I will be sharing partway through here how you can gain an extra entry into the giveaway. So this is open to everyone in the US and Canada. Honestly, right now, like with just the way shipping is in the world, I'm, I'm just kind of like <laughs> keeping it a little more centralized. I do definitely want to do some more international giveaways as well, but for right now it is just US and Canada and I will be letting everybody know how you can gain an extra entry today in the chat. So everyone here will have that opportunity, um, but people who aren't here and so if you do have to hop out at any point, you can come back and you can always enter the giveaway as well. So I'm just kind of like checking with everybody. Hey, Lisa, and we have Tracy. Thank you. Hey, Coco. Glad that, glad that everybody's popping in. All right. So let's get into some favorites. So why don't we just start off? I was just talking about um, the eye combo that I have on today. So like I said, I have definitely been enjoying the like cream shadow with either another cream shadow over the top or a powder shadow because I know that that cream shadow underneath is just going to like make it last all day. And I wanted to share these because they are currently on sale for 30% off. And in case anybody still wants to snag that deal, I just wanted to talk about these. So uh, one of my favorites for the month has been these little Sephora colorful shadows. They're just like little single shadows. And you know, right now during the Sephora sale, the, the next Sephora sale, uh, this is all the Sephora collection is 30% off. So this is the one that I have on right now. And this is the shade shock chalk. So I think that this reminds me, and I'm sure some of you in here, I feel like this reminds me of one of the little Tom Ford. Is it a Tom Ford one? One of the Tom Ford little pots. There's a shade that I feel like is really close to this. I'm not fancy enough to know to know that one. Tom and I, we aren't super besties, but uh, I feel like, oh yeah, this is like really similar. So I actually have this over the top of the Danessa Myricks color uh, color fix in Exposed. So if you can see here, it's just this beautiful like kind of minky shadow, or even like a less sparkly version of the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in Mink. Like it's more metallic rather than um, that like super sparkle. I love this. This is so creamy. And I was just looking it up. Like these shadows are, and I did look, this shadow is actually in stock right now. Let's see this color. Let me find it on here. So it's $9 and then you'd get 30% off of that. Like, I mean, I feel like that's a really good deal for a single shadow. So these are really, really nice. And I think that they do last a really long time. Some of these are a little bit more emollient than others though. Like this one is definitely more of that like squishy, slightly squishy feel to it. So I feel like if you have really oily lids, you would probably want like a really long lasting cream shadow underneath or something like, um, you know, an eye primer. That is one thing that I will say about these shadows though is they all have slightly different formula and on the Sephora website, they do kind of break them down. So the shock chalk, that one that I have on is in the metallic finish. And then they have a glitter finish and a shimmer finish. And they're all very pretty, but they're all kind of different. So it just depends on what you want. Um, this is one of the, let me grab one of the shimmers. So this is the shade antique copper. This is another really pretty one. I'm actually thinking about, I thought this morning after putting this on, I was like, you know, I wonder if I would get more use of these if I like popped these out and put them in a palette. But I'm like, no, part of the beauty of this is that it's really just a quick, easy grab and go for me. So I think I'm just going to keep them in their single. So again, this is antique copper. This is an alien shade. I think this is definitely a Kelly shade, but maybe you can see that it's, it's, it's not a dry shadow, but it's definitely drier in formula than the metallic finish, but it still has a lot of beautiful luminosity. And then they have these sequin effect shadows. I don't know if they have any of these ones anymore, but they're definitely more like of this like sparkle. Let me see if I can get it like close enough. So if you can see like this definitely like reminds me more of um, actually like the lid lusters. It's, it's not incredibly gritty, but you can feel it just a little bit. So this I would definitely put over a glitter glue, but maybe you can see that effect. So I'll, some of these are on sale for like really pretty cheap. So I really like 
I really like these a lot. And like I said, that's what I have on my eyes right now over the Danessa Myricks Color Fix and Exposed. And actually, I, uh, I was talking to someone this morning. I was like, yeah, I actually put that on my cheeks as well because I still had so much left on my brush that I was like, oh, I don't want to waste this color. So that's what my contour is. And that, like I said, I put it on like 12 hours ago. So I do love those Color Fix. Exposed is this shade right here. It's this like slightly grayed out, great contour shade for someone who's like light, uh, light complexion. But you know, there's lots of other shades that you could do as well. Yeah, Aileen, this is not, this is not for you. <laughs> the sparkle shade, I think would be like a little bit more glittery than you would probably like to. Okay. Uh, I see y'all. We're just going to take a, a moment here to, to talk about Pat. Can we do that? Because I was actually listening to a Marco Polo from my friend Kara from Beauty in the Frizz on the way home. And she's like, did you see Pat had a sneak peek? And I told her, I'm like, no, I haven't seen that. I got to go home and get ready for the live, but I'm going to look before I get on. And I didn't. So I should do that really quick. Uh, let me see. So, all right. What is everybody thinking? So, Amanda, I saw that you were saying that you thought that it was going to be, ooh, a mothership. What is everybody thinking? Okay. Hey, Danny, thanks for coming in. I am, it's a mothership. Okay. Melissa's saying it's a mothership. Do I, do I need to go look at this right now? I'm going to go. Why not? Welcome to my live where I hop on Instagram and look at Pat McGrath sneak peeks, but now I feel like, uh, I'm out of the loop. You're all talking about it. And I'm like, what, what's going on? Okay. So let's see. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. rewrite the stars. Can you get what cosmic secret past been keeping? Yeah, I think Ooh, it's definitely, it's definitely a mothership. I'm thinking it's a mothership and probably something Star Wars. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see. <laughs> how many of you, how many of you have, have looked at it like five or six times, like really trying to like get a sneak peek? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Lila, I do see your comment. Sorry, I'm trying to comment. I'm trying to respond to other people who commented before you. Uh, so I, because I work for Paul Mitchell and I have a Paul Mitchell, uh, focus salon, I use Paul Mitchell capes. So if you're interested in them, you can check them out at Paul Mitchell pro. Oh, and I'm five, five and a half. <laughs> okay. Hey, Regina. Thanks for hopping in. Oh, everybody's hopping in. It's so great to see everybody. Okay. So other than those Sephora shadows, what else did I have on my favorites list for, the month. All right. Can we talk about this one? This is Kara's fault. And I'm so glad that I got it. This one right here. And I don't know if Sunsore is still in here, but I know that she has this one as well. Uh, this is the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydra Powder Blush. And this is the shade Maiden's Blush. And this is like definitely one of my new favorite blushes. So, so gorgeous. Like I really love this. Uh, it is like the most beautiful kind of like warm, rosy cinnamon shade. You can see that here. I mean, it's just the most beautiful shade. Like I, I just can't get enough of this. And I actually ordered two. I got my second choice first. I talked about this in my Sephora haul, but I ordered two. I got my second choice first because Maiden's Blush was out of stock. And I was like, well, okay, I'm just going to go through and I'll get my second choice. And then it came back in stock during the sale. You know how that goes. And so I got it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just, uh, I'm just going to have one blush. I'm just going to take one blush. And I kind of wish that I had kept the other one. I had gotten um, Sangria. Was that one of the shades? Uh, I had gotten that one. I was like, okay, I have, I didn't open it at all, but I, I was looking at swatches and I was like, I think I have a dupe for Sangria in my collection. So I, I took that one back. Oh, Coco, you like that one too? Yeah. Hey, Lila, if you want to, um, you can DM me on Instagram at keep beauty real. And I would be more than happy to help you, uh, with that cape. Are you looking for like a like a smock or like a 
customer cape because I don't actually wear like a smock. I just, I'm just like this. Uh, but I would love to help you so you can feel free over there. Okay, so I'm glad that, hey, Kelsey, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not the only one that's like in love with this blush. Hi, Steven. Thank you for hopping on. Uh, okay, so are there any similar formulas? So Liz, that's a great question. Honestly, okay, I feel like, so this is the other blush that I got out that I've really been enjoying and everybody knows and loves the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I feel like these blushes are actually quite similar to the Hourglass blushes, but not necessarily like these ones. By the way, this is the one that I have on tonight. This is Dim Infusion. I love this one. If you are more like extra light skin to light skin and you like a light blush like this, I really do like this one. Um, and But they're more like these ones. They're more like this finish, like the almost more like highlightery type finish, but maybe not quite as shiny. Let's let's go ahead and swatch some next to it, shall we? So I think that these are actually like a similar texture. They are maybe like even so the swirly powders from Hourglass. They have a little bit drier feel to them than these extra shimmery ones do. And I feel like the extra shimmery ones are, I mean, can you see how that finish is kind of similar, but it's not quite as shiny. But right away when I put this on, that's exactly what I thought was like that like luminous, like glowy feel. So it's like just a step down from this, but I really, I really love these. Who else has tried these ones? Does anybody have like a dupe? I am not sure, but that was right away what I thought of. Honestly, the other one that I thought of was my um, my Kiko Milano that I got last year. So if anybody's ever tried the Kiko Milano ones, and actually this is the shade that I thought was a really good dupe for Sangria. They don't make this anymore, but this was the shade uh, Athena Strategy. Yeah, this is a very like similar, it's just got that little bit of luminosity to it and that sheen. So it's not glittery at all, but they're very glowy on the cheeks. So pretty. All right. <laughs> oh, we've got, we've got people like I'm, I'm done with Pat. <laughs> So can I just be honest, and you all know this, if you've watched any of my videos, like, I think Pat McGrath on a really good sale is worth it. I just, I just, I just cannot buy, especially her eyeshadows at full price. And I know that when I did my Lisa Eldridge video, I talked about how, you know, when you break it down, Pat McGrath is less expensive than Lisa Eldridge. But I just, there's just something about it. Every time I've bought a palette, I think that they're beautiful. I think that they can have really inspired color stories, really easy to wear color stories. That's part of it. I just, at full price, I'm like, it, for me, it's just not, it's just not where it is. But we all know that Pat's been having lots of sales lately. So I just feel like, is this what beauty brands are doing now? Like they're just going to like hike up their prices and then just have sales all the time so that we feel like we're getting a better deal. I don't know. That's just me. Okay. So Coco, oh, oh, sorry that. So Coco, you're saying that you do think that they're like the old Dior blushes. That's good to know. Sorry. I'm just trying to like catch up on the chat here. I wish, I know I've said this before, but I wish I could have something like telling me all of the chat comments in my ear. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Uh, what else is on my list? So should we go from like super high end blush? We were just talking about like hourglass and RMS. And I, I really want to talk about this one. You all are maybe going to laugh at me. This blush right here. So I was saying that it was a highlight. I was talking about this on Instagram. I wear it sort of as like a blush topper. This is a wet and wild color icon blush. Now, 
the packaging on this is like the cheapest thing ever. Every time I open it, I feel like it's going to like break. But this color, in fact, I probably should have swatched it next to that RMS one. So this is the color Rosé Champagne. And uh, this is not available anymore. You can find it on like, was it on? It's on a couple websites, but they're like $9. I think mean, you can get it on the Walmart website. And I think it was maybe on Amazon too. And I was like, $9 for a wet mild blush. So, oh, you're not even going to be able to see it here, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this on because if you happen to have this one in your collection, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to take a Morphe brush here and we're just going to whack some of this on. I mean, that is like, so these blushes, I think they retail for like three bucks. And I'm like, that is the most pretty natural glow. And I am definitely to the point now where this is about as much highlight as I'm enjoying right now. <laughs> like, especially in the wintertime when my skin gets a little bit more dry. Like, I'm not a big powder highlight fan. And so for me to like have something that I like in a powder on my dry winter skin is saying a lot. So I was just, I found this in my collection. I pulled it into my, um, into my shop, my stash. And I was like, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. And you know, a little bit of like setting spray and it just like, mm, it just looks so good. So I just love this. So if you have this one in your collection, like this is what makes me think sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm buying this like $40 highlighter, $50, $60. And then I've got this one that like probably was like $3. So I love this one. So if you happen to have it, uh, then, you know, I love it. Yeah, Linda, I think you're right. The RMS is definitely a blush and a highlighter in one. Like, um, actually, was it... I think in the video that I tried it on, Aileen, I think I tried on the Westman Atelier um, Peau de Peche that you sent me with that Maiden's blush. And it looked, they looked stunning together as like, as like a blush topper. It was beautiful. So um, that I definitely like, I love that combo. Oh yes. Trust me. I definitely, uh, Amanda, I plan on pulling out my elevated glow a lot this winter time. All of my creams I think do really great in the winter. It's more the powders that, you know, I don't, I don't super love. Danny, were you talking about, about the, uh, the wet and wild? I really like it. Or are we talking about a Dior blush? All right. Oh, hey, Zana, I didn't see that you were in here. And then I just saw Danny. See, I need to see you all talking to each other so that I know who's here. Uh, okay, so let's see here. What else did I have? Um, let's continue with the eyes. So I talked about this one on my Instagram yesterday, two days ago. Yeah, Wet and Wild. I'm telling you, you know, why can't we, why can't we have all the things, right? We can have a Wet and Wild blush. <laughs> we can have like, uh, you know, like a Pat McGrath highlighter on, we can have, you know, a NYX lipstick on and Tom Ford brow gel. Why not? Like, let's, let's just do it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so this eyeshadow I featured in my recent Instagram reel and I love it. First of all, if you don't know, you have to know now that the Sydney Grace cream shadows are one of my favorite products from the brand. And I think that they still don't get the, like, just, they don't get the attention that they deserve because everybody loves the single shadows. Obviously they're gorgeous, like the single powder shadows, but their cream shadows are lovely. They're wonderful. I will say some of the newer ones uh, that they did in their last launch have some like sparkle in them. And there's one shade that was like kind of chunky monkey and I'm not all about that, but every single other shade that I've gotten has been beautiful, including this one. And this is Dragonfly. This is one of the, uh, multi-chrome. So they have four multi-chrome shadows. I think it's four. And this is a green to almost like a rose gold flip. So I'm going to try to get like a nice big swatch here. So can you see that there where it's like, whoa, it's the coolest color ever. And these will go a very long way. I probably should have showed you all before 
I uh, spread out the um, the little dot that I have. See, look, it's just like so pretty. It's like, ooh, I mean, it's so magical. And this is bulletproof. It lasts all day long on me. I will say you don't want to go in too heavy handed. A little goes a very long way with these shadows. This was just like one tiny little dot. I'll be back. Hold on. Pause. Dance break. Someday I'm going to figure out why that does that. So these are so, so so beautiful. Yeah, Danny, these are definitely multi-chrome. So there's this one and Phoenix and two others. There's four multi-chrome shades. So these ones come in a slightly smaller tube than the traditional. So you can see this is a traditional Sydney Grace cream shadow and this is the multi-chrome. So they come in a little bit smaller tube because I'm sure the formula is more expensive, but I love them. I love them so much. So if you haven't checked them out, you should. Dragonfly is the best of all four, in my opinion. Uh, Linda, that's a good question. So as far as like this shade, I will look. I will look and if I find something, I will post it in my stories on Instagram and I'll tag you. Um, the thing is, is I feel like it's really hard to get something in a cream multi-chrome to be the same shade in a powder just because you can have it be more molten in a cream be because of the formula. It's a liquid formula, you know? So I don't necessarily, I can't think of anything up at the top of my head, but I might have something similar. I don't think, hold on, I'm going to look here. So Sydney Grace makes some so I have two of the Sydney Grace uh, powder multi-chromes, and this is Chameleon Air, in case anyone has this one. No, they're not the same. So this is their powder shadow, but it's, it's, ugh, it's just not quite the same. See, it just doesn't have that same flip. It does a little bit, but I just don't think that it's quite the same. It's not as strong. And I feel like Chameleon Air is like a more green base or like a more blue green base. So, <laughs> hey, Christy, thanks for joining. Okay, so again, this is, this one is Dragonfly and this one is Chameleon Air. All right. Oh, Aileen, I'm glad, I'm glad that you're liking them. Although... <laughs> So I sent you and I sent Steven the Sydney Grace cream shadows and one of you got the chunky monkey one. I think it might have been Steven. I can't remember what that shade is. Stolen Kiss maybe? Oh, Steven, it'd be interesting to know if you have something from Terra Moons. Steven, do you remember what that chunky monkey shade was? I thought you were driving. <laughs> but I don't I don't remember what that one. It's there's one. There's only one. And you know what? Like if there's one dud in a whole beautiful range of a bouquet of cream shadows, I'll be okay with that. Okay. Just catching up everybody. All right. So now let's see, what else did I have on here? Uh, should we just talk really quickly about Lisa Eldridge? I wanted to say that I really have truly been enjoying my palettes, but the one that I've been reaching for all month long is Cinnabar. I want to get it out. So we've all seen it. We all know it. We all love it. I think a lot of people were kind of like bored by this one when they saw it. They're like, oh, okay, well, I have all that. And I'm like, yeah, I do too. But the mats in here just blew me away. And I think if you remember, if you keep in consideration Lisa Eldridge's makeup style, her aesthetic, her branding. It's not about shadows that are so molten that they're going to like blow your socks off, like the Sydney Grace Cream, right? It's really about soft, wearable, easy to use formulas and something that's very classic. And I think that's exactly what you get out of this eyeshadow formula. The mattes are incredible. Like they're just deliciously blendable. They work very easy. I personally think that they're a much more user-friendly formula than the Natasha Denona, and they're gorgeous. So I've really been loving this palette, and I'm so glad that I have it. So um, those have kind of been like my go-to kind of like eyeshadows for the month. Um, so that's 
you know, that's the ones that I've been loving. Okay. So before I get going into the rest of the few of my uh, favorites for the month, I do want to just let all of you know, obviously we're here and I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my 3k beauty box that I'll be sending out to a giveaway winner. Everybody can um, go ahead and enter this. So you don't have to be in the live right now, but for those of you that are, you will get an extra chance to have an entry. And all you have to do is drop a star emoji in the chat right now in this live uh, chat. And then if you do want to enter the giveaway and you want your full giveaway entry, honestly, I usually do a Google form and just have people uh, put that in because then you don't have to like put your email or anything in. And my Google was acting very weird today and I couldn't get the form to pull up. So I apologize. We're going to have to do this old school. So if you do want to enter my 3k giveaway, once you see what's in it, or if you just want to like go for it now. That's cool. Um, what you'll have to do is just, and you can drop it into the chat or you can do a comment later on this video, but you'll just have to give me a way that I can contact you. So you can either leave your email, but don't put the at symbol. Cause you know, obviously YouTube likes to bump those out. You can leave your Instagram. If you don't feel comfortable leaving an email here, like publicly on YouTube, you can totally DM it to me as well. I usually, again, like I said, I usually use a Google form for that reason, but technology. It just wasn't working today. Yeah. I like seeing those stars come on in. Great. Uh, oh, thank you, Aileen. She's, she's being my hype woman here. <laughs> so, um, I'm very excited, you know, thank you again to all of you for like supporting my channel and I love getting to hang out with all of you. So I'm excited to share with you in a little bit what I'm going to be sending out to one winner. And by the way, uh, I will be doing this giveaway for a little bit shorter time since I will be doing a giveaway every week for live miss. So this will run, this giveaway will run up until next Wednesday. So we'll have, is today Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. So it'll be up until the 14th of December. Um, so you'll just have to have your entries in by then. And again, just make sure that you either DM me on Instagram, um, or you go ahead and like drop away an email or whatever into the chat. Okay. So let's get back to the goods here. So a few more things. Let's talk about what's on my lips. So we just talked about Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar. I'm going to go ahead and share that out of, well, I haven't really dipped into the reds that I got yet. I haven't yet because I did the pink hair and I was like, oh, you can't really have rose gold hair. And, and at that time it was like, it wasn't even rose gold. It was like pink with a capital P. So I haven't dipped into the reds yet, but out of the shades that I did get, I am loving Velvet Rain. This is what I have on right now on my lips with a little bit of the Fenty what is it? The Fenty Glow um, lip gloss over the top. So the gloss bomb. So this color, it's just the most beautiful, warm, wearable pink. We all know that Lisa kills it with the undertones. I'm just like, I don't know how she does it. She makes lipsticks that look good on literally everybody. And this has definitely been the one that I am loving. <laughs> I'm also loving Aileen. Shot, shot, shot. Girl. <laughs> Uh, I, I will do a shot of my sparkling water that I have here. I have an Ourobora persimmon clove water. I'll do that. Hi, Lori. Great to see you. Thanks for popping in. All right. Oh, thank you all so much. I appreciate you all so much. Okay. So I'm just looking over here at my little list. Okay. So let's go over another thing that I want to share. And this is brushes. So I recently shared this on my community tab because I have talked about this brand before, but they are doing like a 10 days of giveaways um, on their website. And that is Lara Fay. And I truly love Lara Fay brushes. Like these are just so incredible. There's something, there's something that feels fairly luxe about these synthetic brushes and they are very high quality. They're nice and weighty and they have super soft bristles and I love them. I do have to say I'm very partial to the blue because it's just so gorgeous. Like, I mean, this is like stunning and I really love the eye set, but I also love this brush, which right now you can't really get. So this is the F15. Um, it's one of these like angled tapered brushes but I've, this is the foundation brush that I've been using a lot recently. This is the Lara Fay F09. And the reason I've been liking this one is it's a, it's a smaller, slightly more dense version of like the BK Beauty 101. And for me, it's just like, it's a beautiful, beautiful brush. The F, what was the one that I just talked about? The F15. This one I use a lot for like contour 
for cream blush. I think you could honestly even use it for like cream highlighter. Great quality, but um, this is the newest one to my collection along with the F09. And this is the F11 brush. And this is what I've been using to do my under eye setting powder, um, a little bit of touch up, like if I need to like dust a little bit of powder over my nose. All of you know that I am team small brush. I really enjoy using smaller brushes for like strategic placement. So this has been a beautiful one and it's really, really soft. All right. So the other brushes that I love is the Royal Blue Eye Brush Set. And I shared this because Lara Faye was doing this as one of the days of their giveaways. Um, I do also want to say that you can get this brand on All Beauty. Um, I think I linked that. I think I linked that one in my... Yeah, I did. It's on my community tab if anybody's curious. So the whole set of nine brushes is like under 28 bucks. So these are really great quality. If you're like me and you enjoy a bit smaller brush for your eye detailing, these are gorgeous. Here I have the E11, E12, and E13 brushes. You can see that these are just, they're just so beautiful. They wash up really nicely. And I just think that they're super glam. So they have a red set, a pink set, and then a black set as well. But every set has different shapes in it. And the Royal Blue is my favorite set just because it's like slightly smaller brushes. And I, I just really like these. They're like, there's a combination between slightly more densely packed and also a little bit looser like buffing brushes. So I just really like these and they're a great quality. And um, this is a UK based brand and I just don't hear enough about them. <laughs> so I'm always like, okay, Lara Faye, Lara Faye, like we need to like get the brand out there a little bit more because I really do, I really do enjoy them. Oh, Liz, I'm so glad that you enjoy your brushes because I really love mine. Yeah, Linda, these brushes are really nice. Like I heard about them through Alana from All Together Alana. And I was like, well, okay, they're gorgeous and they're small eye brushes. So I, I knew I had to try some. <laughs> yeah, uh, I totally get you there. <laughs> I totally get you there. It's like, uh, I really, I've really enjoyed some of my Sony G eye brushes. Honestly, I just have to say like, I just... I just like synthetic brushes when it comes to creams. And so I just don't buy a lot of Sonia G face brushes. And that's just a preference. But honestly, like she just makes beautiful, beautiful quality things. And I love all the eye brushes that I have. Okay, so one other brush that I want to talk about is actually a BK Beauty brush. And this was actually sent over to me by BK. And this is the 111 brush. So they sent over the new core extension brush. And this brush I cannot get enough of. It is all I've been putting my bronzer on with. And I honestly, I had like not much interest in it. <laughs> like when I saw the core extension set and I was like, okay, like, great. There were a few brushes in the set that I was like really excited to try. And this was not one of them, but this is, I believe it's the dense bronzer brush. And the thing about this is if you are team small brush, this gives you the application of a more paddle style bronzer brush, but it's not like super big. The thing for me is like, okay, as a makeup artist, like if you are trying to shape your face and you have a brush as big as your flipping hand, like that's not, you're just going to end up with like all coverage. So I just like a smaller brush so that I can like work into the areas that I want to and still have some lightness. You know, like we've all seen the people who sort of almost look like they've got like five o'clock shadow because their their bronzer has just like gone too far. Like the way to avoid that is with a little bit of a smaller brush. So I love this brush, the 111. It's great. And thank you again to BK Beauty for sending it over because honestly, I never would have gotten it. I never would have gotten it if I hadn't. Okay. So let's see here. Am I almost through here? Uh, okay. So what I want to talk about is the new scalp care from Paul Mitchell. So I do always have to say, anytime I talk about any of these hair care products, I am a national educator for John Paul Mitchell systems. So John Paul Mitchell systems is Paul Mitchell and that's all I use and sell at the salon. And it's all I use on myself as well. And we recently launched this new scalp care line from the clean beauty brand and this is so lovely. Like it really is taking like skinification, right? Like thinking about your scalp as skin, which it is, right? It's totally skin, but treating it like 
it deserves skincare. And what I love about this set is it is almost ideal for everyone because this really helps balance out a dry scalp. It helps balance out oily scalp. If you have a sensitive scalp, this really helps with that. So we have a shampoo and a conditioner and it smells delicious. And then we also have a daily drop. So this you would drop in at your scalp, um, obviously after you wash your hair, but then every day in between. So like for me, team like wash my hair once a week, I still put this in every day at my scalp and it doesn't really revert my curl because I do have naturally, I would say like 2C hair. It doesn't revert my hair. It doesn't make it feel greasy, heavy. It's super lightweight. And this, um, this whole line has a mix of great ingredients like chamomile to help calm. You have zinc to really help balance the scalp. And then you have the grapevine, uh, like it's like grapevine sap. So this is an ingredient that has actually been in skincare for a while. And if you think about how like the vines almost look like they die at the end of the season, right? They're actually just like dormant. And so the sap is what sort of like comes back to life and renews those grapevines. And so that's one of the ingredients that's in this. And I have seen it in skincare for a while. So it's nice to know that it's like, oh yeah, our scalp is skin. We should really be treating it like skin. And I've really been loving this set. So I do... I do really love it. Hashtag biased. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> I just, I just really love it. Okay. Uh, Linda. So thank you for asking that. I can totally link them for you. Um, what I will do is I will go ahead and work on that maybe tomorrow. I totally planned on having all of my favorites linked in the description box today. And totally failed at that. It was a crazy day at the salon and I just didn't end up getting the time, but I will totally do that. Um, what I can do, if you are interested in those, I will send you links. Um, I will say, so you can go to paulmitchell.com. We do also have an authorized uh, account on Amazon. So it is actually uh, Paul Mitchell selling through Amazon. And the nice thing is it benefits salons near you. So I will definitely um, send you those links. All right. Uh, hey, Eden, congratulations on your little bean. Okay, yeah, Aileen, I knew you were going to be in here talking about big brushes. That's because you like 17 different bronzers on your face. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, what else did I have in here? Okay, I just have one more thing that I want to talk about, and I can't stop, I can't stop, I won't stop. If you like a gourmand fragrance, if you like a vanilla fragrance, please, do yourself a favor, <laughs> do yourself a favor and try out Dolce from by Rosie Jane. This is so good. This is like, mm, this is definitely my favorite vanilla. You have to like a little bit of cocoa, but this is so, so good. And I don't know if Sephora, I'm going to look right now. I don't know if Sephora still has those vanilla scents. Let's see, Sephora vanilla. So I got this kit right here. And this is what I got the Dolce. Oh, yes. Oh, no. It's out of stock right now. So I was going to say, if they still have it, you can get the uh, perfume oil. Sorry, I just knocked over my phone. Uh, you can get the perfume oil for like really inexpensive. But even the full size, I think this at full size is $70. And it's a mystery amount of fragrance. Sorry. I think this is a couple ounces. Um, but I love it. It, it has notes of, let me pull it up here because I have it actually right here. So this fragrance is vanilla, chocolate, hinoki wood, and nude musk. And it smells amazing. It is like a cocoa dusted vanilla bean that you're like, it's not marshmallowy, but it's like, it gives me that like hot cocoa vibe with like some vanilla in it, but you're maybe burning like a woodsy candle while you're drinking this cocoa because it definitely has that little, it's it's flipping amazing. I can't stop wearing it. And it's just super cozy. If you like even like a cozy scent to put on before bed, like I do, I know Aileen does too, because we're like that. We like to spray things on and smell good when we go to bed. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh yes. This has Hinoki wood in it. It's so good. Okay, Danny, if you like if you like a gourmand fragrance, you are going to like this one. It's so good. I just, I love it. You at least have to sniff it. I'm telling you. 
It's so good. Okay. Ooh, Killian Love, Don't Be Shy. Okay, so I smelled that because isn't that the one that Rihanna was known for wearing? And I think it was like, I, I really need to try it on my skin because I didn't actually... I didn't actually try it like on my skin, but I was like, ooh, this is almost like maybe a little bit too candy-like. This is definitely like a little deeper and sexier than that one is, but I know that that's like a really, like a really famous one. Okay, the one that I want to try, has anybody tried it? I want to try the Killian, is it apple brandy? I, I really want to try that one. I'd like to get a sample at some point. Aileen, if you like By the Fireplace, you were going to like this one. It's not smoky like that at all, but it has that like rich, it has that rich smell to it. Mm, yummy. Oh, Zana, are you saying that um, you didn't like the bottle? Oh, you didn't like it? The Love Don't Be Shy? I have a sample. Now I'm going to have to try it on my skin. Great. And if I buy it, it's your fault. <laughs> Okay. All right. So that is uh, almost all of my favorites. I have one more thing that I want to talk about and it's not beauty. It's actually tea. So if I have any other tea fans out there, uh, this I actually was turned on to by a salon guest who came in and she was talking about teas and, you know, like, mm, you know how sometimes at the end of the night you sort of get a little bit of a sweet tooth and you're like, okay, but I really don't want to like eat anything right now. She was saying that this really helps her. It's like a little bit of a treat. And this is the Harney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice Tea. If you like cinnamon, you need to get this tea. You can get it on the brand website. It is also available on Amazon. Listen, this smells. It smells like a cinnamon stick. And like with an orange peel. And it's so, it's so good. It almost tastes sweet, but it's not sweetened. It just has that like really yummy, yummy flavor. Oh, good. I, I'm so glad. This is great. I had never heard of this brand before. So the ingredients in this are black tea, but they do, by the way, have a decaffeinated herbal version of this. If you don't like getting jacked up on caffeine at the end of the night, like I do. <laughs> So this has black tea, orange peel, uh, natural and artificial flavors, ground cinnamon, and ground cloves. And it is amazing. So I definitely recommend trying this tea out if you get a chance. All right, I'm going to take a second to check in on the, uh, the chat. So for anybody who's popped into this chat, while I've been yammering on and you missed it, you do have a chance to get an extra entry into the 3k giveaway, which I'm about to show you by dropping a star emoji into the chat box right now. And then just make sure that I have a way to get a hold of you. If you do win, uh, you'll have until the 14th and you just have to leave either an email or your Instagram handle. Um, I know a lot of you that I know your Instagram handles, but, uh, if it's different than, you know, what's here, let me know. Okay. Oh, Gretchen, this brand does have this version in herbal. So if you, if this sounds good to you, uh, I think you would like this because I was glad to see that they did have an herbal for, for people who need decaf. I think I'm actually probably, actually probably, that's not a good combo. Uh, <laughs> I think I will most likely get the decaf version of this once I go through the bag of the uh, like caffeinated. Okay. Oh, Bigelow peppermint tea. I love, that's the other tea that I like at night is a peppermint tea. That's my jam as well. And every once in a while, if I'm treating myself, a peppermint tea with just like a little bit of honey in it is so good. So good. Okay. So now let's get into this box here. Okay. My 3K giveaway. How am I going to do this? All right, so I tried to include a little bit of everything to get a wide variety of things for people. So we're going to start out. Uh, let's start out with a little bit of hair things. So this is, hands down, my must-have at the salon when I'm using on guests, and it's also a must-have for me. This is the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. This is like that model off duty vibes hair in a bottle. It really helps add texture to your hair, but it's not sticky. It's not stiff. It's brushable. It just gives you that like rumpled vibe and I love it. And it smells amazing. So that is the first one in here. 
I had to give out one of my favorites. And then since we were just talking about them, I do have two BK Beauty brushes in here. Uh, these were kindly gifted to me by the brand. So thank you, BK, for giving me brushes that I can uh, gift along to someone. We have the 101 and the 102 brush. So these are beautiful big brushes. Uh, I think that the 101 is still a favorite brush uh, foundation wise when you're just wanting to like put on something very quickly. It's definitely been a standby in my brush collection and it is a gorgeous brush. So you've got some brushes here. All right. What else should I grab? We have, I love this one. I should pull this one out. This is the Moira uh, Signature Ombre Blush and this is the shade Orange Blossom. Do I have mine here? Yeah. So this is this one here. It's a beautiful orange ombre. I love these blushes. They are so nice. And I probably have to include a blush in just about every giveaway I do because I love blush. So we've got the Moira Cosmetics. We have the Viseart Sol La Plage. Uh, this is a beautiful, I wanted to have something that's like nice and warm toned. We also have a cool toned palette in here. So I sort of wanted to balance it out. But the Soleil La Plage is this lovely, like, I think this time of year, I actually like to sort of pull out the like summery tones just to like perk myself up. And so I really like, I really like being able to have like a colorful eye palette and the Vizier quality is just beautiful. All right. So then we have some body care. Here we have, let me pull it out of the little plastic. So we have the Michael Todd Beauty Petty Max. So this is one of the like, what would you call it? Automated foot exfoliators. So this helps like get off any calluses. You'll have beautiful feet. And this is a great way to like give yourself a little spa day at home. So to go along with that, I have um, the uh, the Village Factory Hand and Foot Cream. So this is a lovely addition. So it's actually Village 11 um, Hand and Foot Cream. So you'll be able to have a little exfoliation moment and the hydration as well. So I definitely am all about a good pedicure. Bye, Steven. Have a great night, friend. I'll talk to you soon. So I'm going to put these back in here. Again, we're going to be beautiful from head to toe. And then for skincare, I actually, and I'm so sad because you can't actually get this anymore, but I have used this mask. This is the Michael Todd Pumpkin Nutrient Rich Facial Mask. So this has obviously enzymes in it to help, um, you know, really help gently exfoliate the skin. It, I really found it to be a beautiful brightening mask and it wasn't so like enzyme -y that I was scared that it was going to melt my face off. It just like really helped me feel like nice and smooth again. And I don't think that you can get this anymore. I, I didn't see it on their website anymore. When I bought it, I actually bought three of them because I planned on putting one in this giveaway and I had gotten two for myself. So I do really like this mask. Yes, I do. I, I do love doing a little, uh, a little giveaway moment. Like I said, this isn't quite as epic as some of my giveaways have been, but I want to do like smaller, more frequent giveaways. Okay, a couple lip products. So we have the, y'all, I was so sad. <laughs> so we have one of the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer glosses. I love this lip gloss. Obviously, you can't get this anymore because, you know, Bite Beauty is no longer with us. But this is the Guava Puff Shade. I really love these. And then I also have one of the Alva Odin's Eye um, lip stains. Now, I've talked about how much I love, love, love the cream lip stains. I have not tried this, but this is the matte lip stain, and this is in the shade Apricot Girl. So you'll have a little glossy and a little matte moment. And to go along with that, in case you need a lip liner, we have the Wayne Goss Essential Lip Liner, and I think this is Natural Berry. Yeah, this is the shade Natural Berry. I have this one. It's a beautiful, like, kind of everyday whisk-on-and-go shade. I really love this. I, I think that the Wayne Goss Lip Liners, they're more of that, like, classic formula. So if you think of, like, the MAC pencils, it's definitely that, like, sharpenable wooden, like, 
you know, a little bit more dry. But the thing that I like about the Wayne Goss ones is you can get a very, very accurate lip line. And so for me, when I really like to detail my Cupid's bow, it's a beautiful formula. <sighs> Another one that I love and you can't get these anymore. And to be honest, I prefer this formula over the new formula. So these are the House Laboratories eyeliners and we have the shades Dazzled and Empire. So, uh, I did look this up. One of them is a shimmery green and one of them is a coppery, like kind of like coppery bronzy color. So I love these eyeliners. They're actually some of my favorites. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> so I actually love these. They're some of my favorites. They stay on my waterline personally for a very long time. They're creamy. I found that I like them better than the new House Labs liners. So I put two of these in here. Amanda, it's 3K, baby. I got to do it big. <laughs> oh, yes, Linda. So honestly, this is, I'm actually, I think, going to do a video of like all the things that brands have broken my heart with by discontinuing. Like really, you know, I feel like in the last couple of years, it's been pretty tragic. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a little brow brush in here for a great brow moment. And I like the fact that this um, also has a metal eyelash comb. So this is from It Cosmetics. So you've got a brow brush on one side and then you have an eyelash comb on the other. And this is what I love uh, because I like to get out the mascara clumps from my eyes with a metal one. And I actually have a tweezer man one, but this is a nice one because it's got a nice long handle. So this It Cosmetics brush is in here. Uh, we have one of, and I talked about these in my natural deodorant video that I did. This is from the brand uh, Little Seed Farm. And this is the Jasmine Green Green Tea Deodorant Cream. And so this is a natural deodorant. I really like this brand. Uh, you know, like it's nice to support, support a small brand that's, you know, I just, I just think that they have a great product. They actually have some really great body products too. Like their body soaps are really nice. I do like this deodorant. So I wanted to gift one of these out. And I thought that the Jasmine green tea would be like a nice, like mid-tone scent for anyone. All right, let's see here. We have a few, you didn't, I hope you didn't think I was gonna be uh, doing this giveaway without adding a little bit of indie in here. Oh no, my friends. So what we have in here today are four Davina shadows. You all know that I love Davina. And so I actually put in a few of my favorite shades in here. Uh, we have the uh, shade Exosphere. So this is one of the Aurora Flare shades. It's this beautiful shifty green. And then we have Asteria. And we have Messier, Messier, dang it, I need to ask Deandra how I'm supposed to be pronouncing this one again, <laughs> but I love both of these. And then we also have the shade Brisse, which I actually haven't tried this one. It's this beautiful like poppy blue shade. So we have four Divina shadows. And what I thought I would do is, heaven forbid that you are someone who's never tried single shadows before and you don't, um, you don't have a little palette. I thought that I would include one. So I have the little Makeup Geek 4 pan here. So you'll be able to pop your little four shadows in here. Or if you have a large singles collection and you're traveling, you can go ahead and pop four in here as well. Okay, thanks, Amanda. <laughs> rose gold. Ah, uh, Lisa, I don't think I have any rose gold in here. Maybe in the next, maybe in the next giveaway. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set these to the side here. Oh, I actually, no, it's not, it's not really rose gold. It kind of is. So I have a few loose products here. We have one of the loose glitters from Sydney Grace. This is an elegant lady. So this is, well, she's, she's freaking out my camera, but you can see her there. And then we have two of the uh, notoriously morbid um, loose pigments in Starshine and Pleo Pleochroism. Wow. So this is a nice lime green and we have a beautiful blue with a purple flip to it. No, I don't, I don't have any color fix in here, Aileen. 
I do. I'm like I said, I'm spreading the love out. There are more giveaways to come. Don't spoil it. All right. So then if you are like me and you like shiny shadows, but you don't love using your fingers, you're not team finger. I have included a silicone. Uh, I always call these silicone spatulas. That's not exactly sexy. The silicone applicator. So you've got one of these in here so that you can get a beautiful foiled finish, even if you're not using your fingertip. And then I also have a small size of the Versace Bright Crystal Fragrance. I really like this. I think it's a very, like everybody can wear it, just light, clean scent. So this one is in here. And I've got a couple other bits and baubles in here, just some little like uh, samples. But what I did want to mention is I did put a By Rosie Jane scent in here. It's not Dolce. It's uh, Layla Lou, which is like my second favorite. So this is like a pear and fresh grass kind of scent. It's so yummy. Um, I really, I really love it. And then we have one more eyeshadow. We have one more eyeshadow palette. And this is the original Mothership, the Mothership Sublime palette. So this is a beautiful, cool toned palette. I'm not going to be opening her up, but um, we've all seen her. We all know her. We all love her. So like I said, I wanted to have something cool toned and warm toned in here. And then of course you also have uh, like some beautiful pops of green with the Davina shades as well. So this is also going in here as well. So that is it lovelies. That is our 3K giveaway. And I just wanna say, I just wanna say I don't have any room. That's what I wanna say. Okay. I just wanna say that honestly this ride here on YouTube has been amazing and fun and crazy and time consuming and stressful. <laughs> but mostly fun, but mostly fun. And I really, I just, it's been great getting to know all of you to chat with you about all of our loves together to, you know, really come together as a community. And for me, that's really what it's been all about. And I really hope that you found my content either entertaining or helpful in some way. And, you know, it really means a lot to me when I see people leaving comments of like, thank you. That has been so helpful to me, whatever it was, whether it was, you know, something that I ended up not liking and I was able to tell you about, or it was a price breakdown or, you know, just looking for swatch comparisons, or it was a tutorial that I did that you learned something from. I just really, I just really love sharing my passion for beauty with all of you and just, you know, trying to keep this a space that is still a real space. Like, you know, like I said, I like to keep it real. And I hope that that's something that I've been able to provide for you. And uh, it's crazy. I actually, I was just going through and like deleting some things. And I had taken a screenshot at one point when I was at like just over a thousand subscribers. And that seemed epic. So the fact that, you know, here we are and we're actually close to 3.5. I was like, I got to do my 3k giveaway before I'm at like three and a half because that would just be silly. So it's just crazy. And so I want to thank all of you. It's been so much fun. And um, again, for those of you that maybe weren't here at the beginning for joining the live, I just want to give everybody who came to hang out tonight an extra entry. So make sure you've dropped your star emojis into the chat and then just make sure that I have a way of getting a hold of you. If you don't know that I already have a way of getting a hold of you, make sure that you do that. And for anyone that's catching the replay, you'll just drop it in a comment. So um, you can go ahead and set that in. I didn't want it to be something that's only for people in the live and everybody has a week to enter. So let's talk a little bit about the live miss. So I mentioned either in a video or I mentioned on Instagram where it's like, I have to give props to people who are doing vlog miss. That is so great. I can't do it. And in all honesty, as a content consumer, I can't even watch that much content. Like I cannot. So I really wanted something that's a little bit more special. And I really haven't been doing that many lives recently. So I was like, okay, I want to be doing more of those. I probably won't ever get to a point where I'm doing one a week. But part of the reason that I started this channel was to connect with all of you. So I thought that this would be a great way for us to hang out throughout the holiday season. I don't have set dates for every one of the live misses. Is the plural of live miss live misses? <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to give at least like three or four days heads up. Um, I do think that next week I'll be doing either Monday or Tuesday. Um, so we'll have to see how that rolls out. 
I'm going to have to see if I decide to like skip out on my yoga class. You guys are worth it though. You're all worth it. Um, but if there's anything that you would like to see me do during liveness, live miss, cause we still do have a couple more. Um, I will definitely do that. So, you know, leave some recommendations or suggestions, um, either here or like on Instagram or whatever, because I do have some slots left in the content that I'm going to be bringing you. But there will be a little giveaway in every single video, not quite as big as this giveaway, uh, but I do like to do just a little thank you and a little a little gift giving during this holiday season. So uh, I'm just going to take a take a peek through the comments here. Now that I feel like I've uh, I've been like talking for a long time. Oh, Lisa, I love that. Yeah. Oh, and you you do like a cool tone palette. So I, you know, I've been getting more into cool tones. I mean, I feel like this eye is tipping into cool tones. And this morning I was like, who am I? Oh, Kelsey, thank you. I'm honestly, like I said, gift giving is one of my love languages and I, I enjoy gifting. And like I mentioned before, you know, like I love gifting and I love getting beautiful makeup at a great sale. And so every time I do, it's like, oh, one for me and one for you. <laughs> Like literally, that's how I like to give to all my friends. I'm usually giving them things that I love as well. So I, I enjoy getting to do that. Yeah, Danny, girl, you know it. <laughs> you know it. Uh, this is why, oh, I did not spray my hair. I was going to spray my grays because your girl is going to be coloring her hair this weekend. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure we've gotten some extra grays from our YouTube. Oh, Gretchen, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Aileen. I love you too. This has been a great journey. I still remember, I still remember getting to know you before you started your channel. And that just seems like ages ago and also yesterday at the same time. Thank you all so much. I really, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, yes, honestly, like, I mean, I think that that's really what it's all about. I mean, I think we all enjoy seeing makeup content and learning, but I think it really is finding people who have the same interests as you. I think that's sort of what we're all here on this planet trying to do is like make connections for sure. All right. So let me just, Ooh, that's a, so I will definitely be doing a favorites. I will definitely, I don't, I don't know if I'll be doing that one live, but I will definitely be doing my top favorites of the year. And I will also be putting the not so favorites in here. Okay. Hmm. That one I might, that one I might do oh, a showdown. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll have to see. Maybe at some point I'll do that. You guys are like, you guys are bringing the suggestions here. Oh, Coco, don't even, don't even worry about it, girl. I always tell people there's no such thing as being late to a live because you can just hop in whenever and you can pop out whenever you want to as well. Oh, swatches. Hold on. I missed it. Oh, you love a good swatch party. Okay, so I actually just ordered some shadows from an indie brand that I haven't tried yet. Um, they're all mattes but I think I just got the delivery notice. So I will have to check on those because I'm hoping that I have them. So maybe I'll do that as well. Maybe we can do a showdown with the Lara Faye brushes and a swatch party of those shadows. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> all right. Okay, everybody. It's been so much fun getting to hang out with all of you. I appreciate you so much. So if you can, it would really help me out a lot. If you would like this video before you go, make sure that you've entered. And I'm excited to be gifting this out. Again, you'll have until the 14th. Thank you all lovely so much. I'm hoping that I will see you probably Monday or Tuesday, but stay tuned. I'll of course be popping it up here and it'll also be on my Instagram. So love you all. Love you all. Uh, I'm going to keep that a secret for now. I'm going to keep that a secret for now, Amanda, but I will definitely be letting everybody know soon. All right. So have a great night. Enjoy the rest of the evening. I hope you have a beautiful, peaceful evening filled with love and maybe some tea since we're all seem to be tea lovers. And I will see you all very soon. All right. Have a good night.